What's the most NSFW thing you've seen happen in a workplace? We had a male call center manager that was banging girls in exchange for better schedules. This was happening on an empty floors bathroom in our building. During the same couple of years, the male sales manager was banging dudes in the same bathroom. I still wonder if they had any scheduling conflicts. I work in manufacturing and this was many years ago. No one actually saw it happen, but once had someone stick their hand in a running machine to remove a jam. Luckily, they were able to reach any stop and shut the machine down. Person lost a lot of skin and were out of work for 6 months. My crew had to do the cleanup after they shut the line down. We found bits of glove and skin under the machine guards. Talked to the individual when they came back to work. Could not give me a reason why they did that. Not personally witnessed thank god. One of our old managers Tom would use his position of power to woo some hapless server. Trust me it wasn't his looks or personality. Now don't get me wrong he can f asterisk asterisk k whomever he pleases. But he would wait until after hours and do it in the office, in full view of the security cameras. One server blew the whistle and all the managers involved had to watch the tapes. The front of house manager told me he was hairy like Ron Jeremy without the package. A bonding day for the entire production staff. It's basically 4 to 6 hours at a hotel with access to the pool, gym, sports fields and a few organized activities that are aimed to raise morale. Now you're not supposed to bring alcohol, in fact it's technically forbidden, but as long as you're not a complete moron the management look the other way, walk into a toilet, to see one woman and three guys going at it, it was definitely consensual. I wasn't the first to see it, and wasn't the last, too drunk to realize that they should probably lock the door at least. Management looked the other way. The amount of people who s asterisk asterisk t on the floor in a store is unreal. Imperfectly okay with not being in retail anymore. One of my coworkers loved to wear miniskirts and go commando. I know this because her cubicle desks didn't have vanity panels and her desk faced mine across an aisle. I didn't spend my time trying to look, mind you, but when she got on her hands and knees one day to check the wiring on her PC, it was hard not to notice. She was also either a natural redhead or very thorough. I walked in on two co-workers having sex. The guy just said hey, what's up? Like it was nothing. Sadly it didn't work out for them. He pulled a gun on her in the parking lot a few months later. Honorable mention to the time I caught an employee getting fingered by a customer in a stairwell. Guy took a res asterisk asterisk t from a 100 lattice tower. The hour woman at an old job I worked once cornered me to tell me all about her 14 year old's penis, how big it is, and how many times it's been within kissing distance of her mouth. She was telling this story very very fondly. Turns out I'm not the only one she told, and she ended up fired a few days later. All locks needed to be changed at the office, and we had armed security patrolling outside for a little bit, because apparently the husband was a little crazy too. I guess I heard that instead of saw it, though. Worked in telemarketing. Saw way too much people rolling blunt snorting lines one guy whipped his dick out, did the helicopter dance, and then acted confused when he was fired. The worst had to be the 60 plus year old lady getting caught jerking off her 60 plus year old cubicle mate. I used to work in one of the largest leather stores in the world, the kind that sells sex toys too. The sales floor staff frequently had sex with customers in the dressing rooms and occasionally on the sales floor. It was encouraged by management. Friend was a plumber. He was installing a water heater in the roof with his assistant. He was in the roof and the assistant was fetching him tools and passing them up the ladder. After a while he asked his assistant for something and realized he wasn't there. So he climbed down the ladder to see where he was. Found him f asterisk asterisk king the home me r winners made on the kitchen table. They just met about one hour earlier. We had a row of ten or so porta potties that started swaying uncontrollably. Turns out a couple decided that a porta potty is a discreet place to hook up. I worked in a cemetery for years. I remember one of the funeral directors was banging a receptionist, and one night she met him out in the wall crypts and the security guard caught them with my homer's pants down. 
NSFW and hilarious side note, he was engaged to somebody else who worked there. The fireworks were legendary edit. Thanks for the silver. I was at my old job and I went to the bathroom. I open a stall, and the toilet is literally filled with blood. But you see, the kicker is I was in the men's bathroom. Work in a kitchen. That is connected to a bar. Two customers once started going at it in the ladies room stall. The kicker? The stall was locked shut, so they had to crawl under it to get inside. Crawling on the bathroom floor instead of going to the car. That's devotion. I worked at an Essen dealership located at a busy intersection in my city back in the early 2000s. One of the younger car salesmen was trying to sell a new car to a woman who looked to be in her 40s. It was going well, they were working on closing the deal. So I take a break and walk to the back car lot for a smoke to find the salesman wedged between two cars amongst a row of cars with the woman he was selling a car to on her knees giving him a blowjob. I was in complete shock. She never stopped, and he just smiled, and gave me a thumbs up. I'm a 36 years old female and still think of this one often enough, Ugh. The head chef brought a big f asterisk asterisk koff bag of magic mushrooms we're talking large grocery bag here, and handed them out to all the staff. He had cancer, and he was good friends with the owner, and did not give a single f asterisk asterisk k. That was a magical night for staff, and probably downright surreal for the diners. Went to go get a job at Lay's Warehouse, when I walked in I saw the manager in his underwear doing some NSFW things and left. Let's just say I choose not to work there, or eat Lay's chips again. Work in a hospital er, had a patient come in for vaginal pain. Worked her up, and positioned her in the stirrups, so the doctor could come in, and do a quick pelvic exam. Right after I did, that a critical patient came in that required the doc's attention for a while. After about 20 minutes I went back into the pelvic exam patient's room, to apologize for the wait, and put the stirrups back down, so she could lay normally until the doctor had time to examine her. I walked into her boyfriend on his knees in front of her eating her out, asked him what the hell he was doing, and he told me he just couldn't resist with her in that position. I escorted him to the waiting room and told security he wasn't allowed back in. Turns out she had chlamydia. Shocker edit. Wow this blew up after I went to sleep thanks for the awards. Also for clarification, since many people seem to be appalled that I left this perfectly capable 30 year woman in stirrups for 20 minutes I work in county air night shift so when a critical patient comes in it's all hands on deck since we only have 3 nurses and a document. Walked in on my boss boning the hour director in his office. My next review and raise were the best I ever had. I'm a teacher, and one day walking past the headmaster office I heard some very distinctive moans. A guy was watching porn on his laptop. Asterisk D-U-R-I-N-G asterisk anti-sexual harassment training. I worked in a crusty movie theater when I was an innocent 16 year old. Here is a summary of the s asterisk asterisk t I saw people my age doing. Asterisk s-t-o-r-i-n-g liquor bottles in the ice chest asterisk s-n-o-r-t-i-n-g painkillers off the sink asterisk d-i-p-p-i-n-g balls or spitting in the popcorn asterisk w-o-r-k-e-r-s having sex in theater slash closet slash parking lot asterisk c-l-e-a-n-e-r-s popping ecstasy before their shift asterisk s-m-o-k-i-n-g weed behind the dumpster asterisk m-a-n-a-g-e-r selling drugs for employees to do on their shift asterisk e-m-p-l-o-y-e-e parties held in our 25 year old manager's trailer he supplied the alcohol for all the high schoolers cans of graffiti remove an extra popcorn bags lying around the back edit we caught a 60 year old rich married white lady blowing a homeless guy in our bathroom during fantasy fest while her husband waited outside in her defense i don't think she knew he was homeless a guy getting up on a ladder during Black Friday in order to grab MP3 players from a pallet up in the steel shelves, back room of a WM. The ladder was pulled out from under him, and he hung onto the steel with one hand, while grabbing and tossing the boxes with the other hand. Complete insanity. 
went up to a couple in the bar I was covering to ask if they wanted a picture. Woman is short of breath and the guy just says no. I ask the woman if she's okay and she nods and I walk off. I look back and see the guy furiously fingering her under the table edit. Forgot to say I took pictures for the bar's facebook page and sold key rings in a full and forgot to include that in the story for why I was approaching them in the first place edit too. I didn't take pictures of the couple. A woman I worked with could be s little restless. We worked evenings and were relatively unsupervised. She occasionally would do exercises to burn off energy. She did a handstand against the wall once and her titty popped out. I don't think she knew I saw but I saw. I manage a pizza and wing place. On Super Bowls we rent a refrigerated semi-trailer to store backup food. This last Super Bowl came and went and the company never came back to get the trailer. So a few of my employees decided to hotbox the entire trailer. When they got out it looked like it was on fire from how much smoke was pouring out of it. I managed a bar two years ago. I had this girl that bartended for me who would go missing on camera all the time. I had them. Cameras. Everywhere inside. She'd just disappear for half an hour at a time. I investigated. I was pretty close with a lot of the regulars. Small. Family owned place in a suburb. And came to find out that she had been. UHH. Offering sex for money. Soliciting sex from behind my bar. She was gone shortly thereafter. I cold and fire her for something that I cold and prove I ended up letting her go for neglecting to fulfill her duties as a bartender. She was written up for multiple occasions of leaving the bar customers unattended and that was enough to get her the hell out. I don't know if that could somehow fall back on me or the bar but I was not interested in finding out. Edit. I can't reply to all of the yes you can replies individually so I'll do it here. Yes I could have fired her for anything I wanted. If she wore a pair of shoes I didn't, like I could fire her on the spot. But the dynamic changes a little bit when you're in a small town. Drama spreads fast. She would have complained to someone about it along the line and half the community world have ended up boycotting the bar. The other half world have thought very lowly of her. I don't see how either of those things are good for anyone. So I held off and fired her for something else. I didn't want to deal with that kind of confrontation. Not gonna lie, the whole situation was pretty uncomfortable. Worked in an emergency room, and I can tell you that a good number of the nurses and paramedics were having affairs and just having rampant sex with each other. I remember one specific time walking by a patient room and just hearing sex sounds. A few minutes later, a disheveled nurse and firefighter came strolling back to the nurse's station. A different type of NSFW. One of the air physicians was busted for having alcohol in his big gulp while working. Another time we discovered one nurse in the bathroom half passed out with a needle in her arm. County hospitals are awesome. Chick I worked with showed us her boobs. That was pretty nice of her. Once I walked in on one of my patients having sex with her boyfriend. She had given birth, vaginally, six hours earlier. Worked at a place that had a boardroom that overlooked the factory. The boardroom windows were covered in mirror vinyl, and usually it's brighter in the factory than the boardroom, so you can't see in from the factory. After work it's getting dark, so the lights in the boardroom are brighter than the factory, so the effect is reversed, and you can see everything in the boardroom from the factory, but can't see the factory from inside the boardroom. That's when the CEO walks into the boardroom and f asterisk asterisk ks a receptionist on the boardroom table with a whole bunch of factory workers watching. Multiple ton motor being held up diagonally on a forklift with two dudes standing on the back of the forklift for enough counterweight. And one guy installing some bits underneath the motor that were mounts, or whatever. Lol. Nope. I did go stand on the back of the lift though. Figured it might help. Girl got flowers on Valentine's Day. A well qualified female was promoted to be a line supervisor at a manufacturing facility I worked at years ago. One of the men on the line was rather upset that he'd have to be reporting to a woman. When the newly promoted line supervisor was making her first review slash inspection of the line, he dropped his pants and underpants and waved his dick at her in defiance. Her first administrative act as supervisor was to terminate his employment. Small company. Had this woman in her 30s working in accounting. 
not very attractive heavy smoker with a voice to match, a bit trashy, but she was funny, friendly and generally a good person. She found some photos of me online, which I guess she liked. She showed them to the cowalkers I guess for s asterisk asterisk ts and giggles. I walk in, she shows me a printout of one of the photos. The our lady is standing right next. The unattractive woman says very loudly to me let's have sex. Our lady's eyes go. Then. Then she just shook her head and walked away defeated. I laughed it off. Didn't have sex with her. I walked into the office kitchen and had a female work colleague take off her top and ask me what I thought of her breasts. I was a bit blindsided by this and said I've only come for a cup of tea. This girl is young enough to be my daughter. A few days later, she came into my office, wiggled her bum at me, and asked me what I thought of her bum. Edit. This girl was 20 plus years younger than me. Nope I wasn't interested. I did raise this issue with the boss, who just laughed, and said she's a character. She had resigned anyway, and I was taking over from her sans the flashing. She told me she was a model and she couldn't show me the photos because they were not suitable for work she had shown the photos to a very conservative sales rep who refused to come to our office after that. I can only gather the pics were more pornographic in nature than I had assumed them to be. She spent a lot of time pole dancing in the courtyard. I'm not sure she was wearing underwear beneath her short skirt. Lots of people have commented on my cup of tea. Yes I'm British. Edit 2, regarding I've only come for a cup of tea comment. I'm getting a lot of feedback on this. I'd love this to be memed for posterity. Though still not in the same league as the right in front of my salad. <laughs> Worked at a computer store. We had a repair section. Someone had a computer that kept randomly shutting down. The tech went to turn it on to test and the entire thing caught on fire. Turns out the guy had no heat sink, had never cleaned out the inside of dust, Plus the oil that got inside, and the case was covered in cooking oil. IDK how it ended up in this state, but we had to close a repair section for a few hours, while they assessed the damage. No other computers were harmed, but the repair desk needed to be replaced as well as half the wires. I worked at an Italian restaurant slash pizza place that was across the road from some cheap motels. Cheap motels were where tricks were turned. We found out the... Hard way that one of our pizza chefs was paying for pussy and blowjobs with pizzas, lol. Ed see him slip the girl a pizza through the window, then he'd disappear for 20 minutes. I only walked in on them in the act once, and it was enough for me. I was in an orientation for a new job and there was another girl sitting kind of diagonally from me. Tables were configured in a horseshoe. She was wearing a silky blouse tucked into a pencil skirt. She looked nice and clearly was trying to make a good impression. The orientation was 8 hours, and about midway through, right before our first break I look over and notice a couple of buttons on her blouse had come undone. It was like one at the top, and one in the center so from where I was sitting you could see under her bra. Clearly because of the loose slash slick button holes and not intentional. Not too bad, so I figure I'll just say something when we take a break. A few minutes later I look over, and her entire top is unbuttoned down to where it's tucked into her skirt. Her boobs are completely hanging out, and the guy next to her is just so obviously staring at her chest, but not trying to tell her. I'm trying catch her I make eye contact, so I can give her a signal, when the instructor calls for a break, and says he going to start pulling people, to take their ID photos. He pulls her first. Clearly because he too noticed her tits resting on the table, and was likely trying to find a subtle way to let her know without embarrassing her or drawing attention. She came back with her shirt buttoned again. I looked over later, and noticed her touching the buttons and double checking it was still closed. At my gym, a hired trainer ran out of the bathroom but naked, dick in hand stroking and screaming at the top of his lungs. He blew the most ridiculous size load I've ever seen on the preacher curl machine. Then fell over and passed out. The police and paramedics had to be called, and after they took the guy and did what they needed to do with the scene, the gym manager had to clean up the massive load off the machine. I skipped my class and just hung out there because I wanted to see how it all played out. Does seeing yourself in the mirror count? Because I used to smoke shards in the disabled toilets at my old job. Clean now for 6 months. I highly recommend not doing meth, it's not so great for your life. 
One of my coworkers took a res asterisk asterisk t in a client's attic. I work in the life safety department at my job. I install fire alarms, security systems, and access control both commercially and for residential. This particular client, a church complex mind you, happened to be one of the worst jobs that I have worked on. My coworker and I came into this job half finished as the previous person installing their systems put his two weeks in and didn't care what happened to this place. She truck was already put up in a lot of places and junctions of wire weren't made up or acknowledged wires weren't labeled. No wire map was made ECT. ECT. This is on top of a client who would change things constantly. A uh, were changing the ceiling tiles. So you'll have to reinstall all of the devices that you just put in sort of thing. We were finally finishing up this place weeks past schedule and way over bid in my coworker, and I are finishing that last short pull to tire pull station in that the client really wanted to move and I look over to see him s asterisk asterisk tting in this attic. On one hand I'm appalled at the lack of professionalism as I take pride in my work but on the other hand I'm sort of impressed that anyone could harbor that level of hatred to a person and place that they would s asterisk asterisk t in their attic. TL. Drive. My coworker hated a client so much that the only way he felt he could get back at them was to s asterisk asterisk t in their attic. I can't tell you how many blowjobs I had to break up at the movie theater. People handling asbestos without asterisk a ny asterisk of the necessary safety equipment from cleaning up a burnt out building. Make sure to like and subscribe for more daily content. Thanks for watching.